Hello, and welcome to Five Facts with Danny. That's me. I'm Danny. And it is officially the season of fall, which for most animals basically just means it's the season of preparing for the season of winter. And there's one critter in particular who I imagine many of you have seen. You know them, you love them. They're scurrying around, collecting as much food, stuffing their cheeks, absolutely full, getting ready for those cold winter months. That's right, it's the Eastern Chipmunk. So today I have for you five facts about the Eastern Chipmunk. Let's do it. Fact number one. The Eastern Chipmunk is, no surprise, a chipmunk. And chipmunks belong to the scientific family that's called Sciuridae. Now this is the mammalian family that is the squirrel family. So of course all the squirrels that we know and love are a part of this family as well. Also groundhogs and prairie dogs are in this family. And then of course the chipmunks. Now there are 25 different species of chipmunk that can be found around the world. However, 24 of those species can only be found in North America. So the one outlier is the Siberian chipmunk, which you can find, you guessed it, in Siberia. Now of those 25 chipmunk species, the Eastern chipmunk is the largest usually around 4.5 ounces, which is 125 grams, so still pretty small, but the largest of the chipmunks. And the eastern chipmunk is who we're talking about when we're in the eastern United States and eastern part of southern Canada. They're the only chipmunk that you can find in that range, so if you live in any of those areas, if you see a chipmunk, it's the eastern chipmunk. Fact number two, even though chipmunks are very, very good climbers, they mostly live underground, so they build these extensive burrow systems underground. It'll have a lot of different entrances, a lot of different tunnels, and there'll be different rooms all throughout this system. They may include food storage, may include the spot where they're sleeping during the winter, may include the nest for the baby chipmunks coming in the spring. And they're very solitary creatures, so one single chipmunk will have its own burrow system that'll live in by itself, that'll be its personal space. They're also highly territorial, so they will defend themselves if another chipmunk is coming in and trying to get in on their space. They're not gonna have that. Fact number three, eastern chipmunks are definitely what I would call hoarders. What they're hoarding is food. Some researchers found eastern chipmunks that were able to gather 165 acorns in a single day. So they're being extremely efficient. And they're gathering all that food in those cheek pouches of theirs. Now I'm sure you've seen the images of chipmunks with their cheeks puffed out as they stash food in there. But did you know that their cheeks are actually able to extend three times the size of their head? So they're really, really flexible and they're able to just stuff all sorts of stuff in there as they're collecting their food and taking it to their burrows. Fact number four, the Eastern Chipmunk does not hibernate. You heard me right, they don't hibernate. What they do is they go into what's called torpor. So when the winter months come on, when it gets really cold, they'll go into their burrow and they will slow their body down. So their body temperature is usually 94 degrees Fahrenheit. It can reach as low as 40 degrees Fahrenheit. Their heart rate, which is usually 350 beats per minute, it'll drop down to only four beats per minute. So they are slowing everything down, but they're not slowing down for the entirety of winter. Rather, they go through these periods of torpor for a week or two weeks, slow it all down, and then they'll wake up again. And that's where that cache of food is gonna come into handy. So remember, they've dug that burrow, they've got all that food that they've stored up during these fall months. And so they'll wake up every week or two, go on down, get some food, stock up, get what they need, and then go back to sleep for a few more weeks and repeat that cycle throughout the winter. Fact number five, chipmunks are extremely vocal creatures. Now scientists have identified three different types of vocalizations that are commonly used by the Eastern chipmunk. The first is the chip trill. This is the sound that a chipmunk is making when it's defending its territory. Remember, they're very territorial. They don't want anyone getting in their space. And so they're gonna use that chip drill to say, stay out, this is my spot. The second vocalization is chucking. Now chucking is an alarm call. This is their way of alerting others to the fact that there's a predator in the area. And specifically the predator that chucking is referring to is aerial predators. So hawks or other birds of prey that might be coming from above, they're gonna use that chucking call as their alarm call. And lastly is the chipping call. Now just like chucking, chipping is also an alarm call, but this is referring to predators that are coming on the ground. Now there is one more very commonly recognized chipmunk vocalization. Christmas, Christmas time is near. 
but we're not going to talk about that today. And there you have it, our five facts about the eastern chipmunk. Now I don't know about you, but I just think chipmunks are the coolest little mammals. The fact that they're able to find and store enough food to get them through the winter, the fact that they're able to slow their bodies down but know that when it's time to wake up and eat more food, the fact that they're able to make those different vocalizations and alert each other to where the predators are coming from, there's a lot going on in those little tiny mammals. So I hope you'll keep an eye out for eastern chipmunks as they're getting ready for the winter and let us know if you see one. Send us your video, send us your photos, uh, what cool chipmunk storing behavior are you noticing in your backyard. Until the next one, thanks for watching. Bye.